Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and this is the Eve Spectrum 4K 144Hz monitor. Of course, now it's called Doe, uh, the company instead of Eve. So this is the matte version. I had pre-ordered it back in the day, and it has served, since I've gotten it, it has served me well. So it's been, I think I did an unboxing of this, so it's been a long time since I've been using this, but uh, now I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. And I have to say, this monitor is um, a nice upgrade over, I had some old Samsung monitors that weren't high refresh rate, didn't have like FreeSync uh, Pro, uh, G-Sync, any of that stuff, and this does. So this allows me to do some switching between different uh, monitors, or different graphics cards, I should say. And it, it's a much better monitor overall. I, lo I love the thin bezels here, and uh, it has... This LED light will change here at the bottom if you can kind of see that little light. That will um, a lot. It, it gives you notifications based upon once you're upgrading firmware. They allow you to upgrade the firmware of this monitor as well through a little tool. And I think that that is one great feature that I think more monitors need to have is being able to upgrade that firmware, being able to get those um, features that they may iron out or little bug fixes for these monitors now that we have gone into these ages of having more than just 60 hertz and 1080p you have a lot of new features coming out in these hdmi 2.1 and then you also have high refresh rate stuff you never know if there's a bug and there's been a few bugs with this monitor i will say that i have you know helped with beta firmwares and um that when they ask if, if to test them and i'm willing to do that because uh, you know a better monitor experience a better experience is always fun but my friend, he has a more high-end graphics card than I have, and he has this monitor, and he just just really enjoys gaming with it. Um, really great monitor overall. One thing, uh, you know, I did see that Spectrum is or Doe is coming out with is a OLED monitor. It looks like it's going to be um, uh, QH. Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, 1440p. So. Um, 240 hertz adapt to sync hdr 400 so they're going to have another one 27 inch the only problem is that i i really want that to be a 4k side monitor when i jump over to oled so um instead of quad hd let's go to oled let's get that full and uh, if you see my s95b review you kind of see why I, I just really enjoy oled so right for gaming it, it kind of makes all the difference the response time the um the colors, HDR, the, just everything really seems to pop. And while this monitor is good, I have noticed certain things uh, come of it. Sometimes there's a, it seems like there's almost a cut right here if you're doing a lot of scrolling on a browser and it just seems like it doesn't, I, I catch it in between the middle of a refresh somehow. And I, I know that this is all set up 144 hertz all the time, always on. Power is not really a concern here when I'm on my desktop, right? I'm trying to get work done, trying to game. Um, don't really, I, I want to make sure I have the peak performance. So this is that sort of thing. But if you're looking for a monitor, this is, you know, this monitor is out there. I don't know what the price of it is right now. You can choose between a glossy and a matte version. They sell the stand separately, which is, um, which I'm fine with, right, because I have it on a monitor arm. It's $949 which uh, for the matte version, which I think some other monitors might have a better price-to-performance ratio. Or, and then they have the glossy for $1,100. Um, so you probably get a better price than some other monitors out on the market right now. But at the time, this was for what I got it for, which was I was in the first group of buyers, or very close to that. Uh, I got it for a very good deal, <laughs> and uh, that's one of the reasons why I went this route is because of the price I originally got it for, and it was well well worth it, right? So I've played a lot of games on here, um, or quite a. I, I get. I don't play as much as my friend does. He's played a lot of games. I should say I played. I jump between this and the Xbox, so I go back and forth, and, and the Xbox is on the TV. My desktop's on here but I can go through it has you know a power on off on the back button and then behind here too um, it has you have your input you can select your inputs you can select your USB hardware source your volume 
Now, there's no speakers on this, but you can, you know, you have volume out. You have a whole bunch of ports. You have your HDMI um, 2.1 ports, USB-Cs. You can use this to actually charge, like, as a USB hub as well. So just keep that in mind. You can see you can have crosshairs, framework counter, crosshairs, um, presets, picture of your sharpness, performance, VR, response overdrive, your um, OSD stuff. You can, you can see it has FreeSync Premium on, 4K 144Hz. You have your indicator light and kind of, you know, different behaviors of that. And then just your information. You can see I'm on a, a 107 firmware which uh, they have 107 out. I, I expect that at some point they'll get a newer firmware out here. And if you get this, just make sure that you're up to date on your firmwares. It seems like they're ironing out some issues, but it's been an improvement. So um, I, I, I've had some issues with it, but this latest beta, beta firmware kind of resolved those. So I'm, I'm pleased that they're willing to put forth the effort to clean up this uh, firmware clean up the monitor make it better and I hope that as they get this OLED I don't know their other monitors out it's going to be just a stepping stone forward that that's what they're going to constantly do each time is uh, build off of what they've already developed in firmware and then make it better each time where the tweaks need to be because you know when you buy a monitor especially something that's now $900 um, if you're willing to spend that uh, there's a, right there's some OLED stuff coming out right now that I would pay attention to as well Heck, I'd, I'd love to be able to look at some of that stuff, um, be able to use it, especially if they have 4K OLED. 4K OLED. <laughs> That's kind of my, uh, if I can get like a maybe a 32-inch, 35-inch someplace in there, I don't know if I can fit 42 on this desk, but OLED, that would, uh, that would be kind of the sweet spot for me, I think, for the monitor. My kids have a, my, the, guy, the friend that games a lot, let my kids use his old monitor, uh, 1440p, 32 inch, I believe, and that's just a, a sweet spot of a size. So, overall, if you're looking for a 4K, 144 hertz monitor, be able to play games on it. This is the card. I got a, I got a, um, a 6700 XT in here to drive this, and I haven't been playing a lot of AAA titles. I've been going through a lot of old games, but it is, it is really, really good. Overall, I, I do wish I had the gloss finish. I think that would be a nice little added touch, but I'm not, I'm not spending the extra 1000 or I'm not spending the, you know, what is it, hundred and some, uh, $150 more just for that. I'm going to stick with this one until I upgrade to OLED at some point, uh, until a better technology comes out that wants me to upgrade again. So... You know, you want to monitor that sticks like this. I, I would, I, I do, I will say this. If I had the chance, I would upgrade. I have work monitors that sit off to the left here because I do work off this desk for uh, my job. And they, they're my old Samsung ones. And these are just that much better. Even though they're both 4K, these look sharper. Um, just a much better picture overall. Granted, my Samsung ones are really, what are they, like five years old or something? So, you know, you expect technology to uh, move along a little bit faster. But if you have questions with this Doe Spectrum Monitor, let me know. I know price is a little high, actually, I think. So that's one detriment right now. But if you're looking for something, this is definitely um, a monitor to consider. If you're looking for that 4K 144 hertz, I know if you're looking for like the 240 hertz, you know, they have a, or they have a 280 hertz and a 144 hertz uh, QHD. If you're looking for something in that, uh, there's a lot of different more choices. And that's not something I play a lot in. I've, I have one QHD here and my kids use it. So I'm not going to comment on how this compares to that or anyone else. Or any other ones on the market because I like to play in 4K and that's why I got the 4K monitor. So with that, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any comments. Leave it in the comment section below as well, and I will be sure to take a look at them and help you out wherever you wherever your questions are. So until next time, I want to say thank you for watching the channel, supporting the channel, and helping this channel grow. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, God bless, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.